Disney Sky here. Um, I'm just doing this video because I could not live at school without being bothered. Um, because all my friends at school that watch my videos, Jamie, Eagle, Ruben, um, are bugging me to make a video. So if you're watching, here you go. Um, as I already said, I'm going to make a video on, um, uh, by the title, of course, it is Strange Dreams I've Had. So, I'm going to start with the most recent strange dreams I've had. But most times when I go to sleep, it's like either a really weird dream or um, just no dream. Like, I wake up and I forget it. <laughs> There's just one creepy thing about dreams, and it's not really creepy, but... Um, some have you ever had a dream like ages ago about something and then like years later you continue in that dream and it's like oh my god I remember being here before literally it's so cool and it's so I don't know the word so I was in like I was working in like an op like office but like I'm still my age and everything like I'm still me now I was working in an office with people like way older than me that are actually allowed to have a job um, and then I was working there for just a while and then I got out the office and when I got out the office my mom picked me up from the office to go home so she started the car started driving and then I ended up in the park for a while with a hula hoop and then um, I randomly appeared um, in a house then I ended up with a weird hula hoop in the park and then I ended up home. I just appeared home and then on the hula hoop there's a bumblebee but it was sleeping and it was really scary like I was scared because like I was thinking what about when the, <laughs> when the bee wakes up <laughs> and it's going to be buzzing around the house. So I was thinking about it for ages so I just left it downstairs because I didn't want it to be in my room. So um, I left. Basically, the bumblebee, yeah, if you're confused, it was on a hula hoop and it was stuck on the hula hoop, yeah? Um, so I was really scared and then mum moved the, the hula hoop in my room and I was like, why would you do that? I don't want the hula hoop. It has a bee on it. So, um, I just, um, like, I kept on complaining and complaining about it and mum was like, alright, fine, I'll get rid of it for you. I was expecting something else, but um, she got... <laughs> She got a gun and started shooting the bee off the hula hoop. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that was that weird dream. And then I woke up, and this is a dream I had in like year four or something. I would never forget this dream. It even has a title and everything. <laughs> Let me calm down for a minute. It's called the Brain Dream. I have been watching so too much Sabrina the Teenage Witch because my character was Sabrina <laughs> and but I was in this high school and I was walking along the corridors like it was all white I was walking along the corridors with my friend and then her bell rung so she went to class and I carried on walking for some reason I don't know how that works with she goes to class and I'm still walking down this weird hallway doing nothing. There was this, these doors, like it was a complete white hallway thing. And the library's down there and there's a door there and loads of doors down there. So one door I opened slightly and took a peek through and I saw this, like a patient on the bed, the doctor with a chainsaw and it was gonna cut the person's head in <laughs> so I closed the door quick and ran into the library to get back to class. When I okay, I'm really sorry guys, but this dream is just really weird, okay? When I opened the door to the library, um, there was loads of brains and blood everywhere all over the books and the bookshelves. <laughs> then the fire alarm came off. <laughs> so. I know my dreams are really weird, but so I ran out. There's this big queue, and I was at the end of the queue. Like, you know how you'd have like different classes lining up in different places. Th this wasn't the same. It was like the whole high school in one big row, all the way to the end. Like all the students starting from the door all the way down in one line. Um, 
So I was at the end of the line and I was basically on the pavement and my friend was in front of me, the one person in front of me, so I was like, yo, why, why are we here? What is going on? So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leg it home. Well, Sabrina was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leg it home. See ya. And so she walked home from the end of the line, even though it wasn't a long time. And then she went home, said hi to Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda, and then said her day was really weird. And then I woke up and forgot. And there's this other one called the Fire versus Water Dream. This was a dream for about two seconds. It was it was a table, um, and I could only see the table like red side and blue side. That's all I could see. I couldn't see around the borders or anything. It was just that, like when you're playing a game. And there's a fire blob and a water blob, and they're fighting each other. That dream, you know, fire games were well, like five or something. Um, it was a very random dream. When? <laughs> oh my god! A dream just blinged in my head that I forgot all about. <sighs> I feel so good when that happened to me. And so I was in the school trip, but this, 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 this trip, this holiday, it was so weird. It was like. All of the place, it was like a weird cameo forest thing and it had the Deku tree. <laughs> it was like cameo forest and it had a Deku tree and um, so we was going to go to the Deku tree. But, so then I just appear, um, I wake up in my dream from night and then walk downstairs, well I don't walk downstairs, I walk like at the top of the stairs, say mom! Have you got my sandwiches for my school trip? <laughs> so she's like, I'm making them now, you got a jam sandwich. And so I go, Mom? But well, as I'm calling Mom, I actually called her in real life apparently. I went, Mom! In my dream apparently. Because my mom said, um, uh, you said my name last night and then when I came upstairs, you were sleeping. <laughs> so I must have uh, talked in my sleep. This video might be really boring, but it's just entertaining for me right now and you guys wanted a video, so you got a video.